Hello, so time to review a mask lots of you have asked me to review for ages and I've always wanted one for ages but I've only just got my hands on one. So big thank you to one of my supporters, he's got like a Russian name so I don't know how to pronounce it when he actually posts normally. Um, but he said he might be able to get me one of these and because he donated before then he just asked me to cover a bit of the shipping. So I was really happy to do that and it's arrived. So it's Canadian C4. So this was the mask that replaced the Canadian C3 in service and I think is just about being replaced now. This seems to be the older variant of it which was made in black uh, butyl, whereas later on they made these in a sort of tan green butyl to indicate these were, they were like the second gen or fixed versions of these. So what the Canadian C4 is, essentially is Canada's sort of where Canada was wanting to come up with a more futuristic mask at the time, you know, the C3 was in service. So they could have, you know, masks equal in quality to US M40s, sort of British S10s, that sort of thing. So if you think um, Avon S10 meets the US M40, you're not very far off with this, actually. It's, if you look at it from a lot of angles, it kind of looks like both of those masks are sort of a weird love child hybrid. And from what most people have said to me, they said, like, it's the best of both the masks. That's why you'll love it, because, you know, all the things you like about the S10 are in there and all the good bits about the M40 are in there. So you've got one of those very nice sort of head harness, sort of skull cap type things, um, which is more comfortable than the regular strap system. You've got a voice diaphragm there, obviously a big voice diaphragm on the front. The XL valves are there, it's meant to have like a little rubber deflector off there, but I guess that one wasn't there, but I'm just happy to have the mask. Drinking tube system there. Let's have a look at the connector for that. That's a very similar looking one to the US drinking tube system, it probably is. Um, and obviously it's got an oral nasal cup and everything inside as well. And more importantly this was 40mm because the previous Canadian mask was 60mm. So that's the inside if you wanted to see what it looks like on the inside. As you can see it's a pretty big mask. And yes you're meant to be able to see through the voice diaphragm bit because it's a clear plastic in there. So let's put the mask on and see if this one fits me. And then what is it like in terms of comfort and visibility and everything. Well, that was a pretty good fit actually, yeah. My eyes are certainly very close to where they're meant to be on the thing. So yeah, there's that. So there we go. This is the Canadian C4, pressurising as well. Always good. So basically, there was some problems with these masks. When they first went into service and you had these black variants of them, there was an issue apparently where there was some sort of adhesive used on the rubber that was drying out or basically melting so the masks were falling apart or wouldn't make an airtight seal. When they later made these masks in the green variant, that was basically done to indicate that the um, you know issue was fixed. So if you had a green one, you know all the original problems were done with them. And when those problems were solved, they were very good. But by all means, you can still get a lot of the black ones, which are completely fine apparently. It's just, you know, if you had one for yourself, you'd rather get the green variant, I guess. Now, I think they are eventually replacing this either with what they're going to call the C5, or it might be an Airboss LBM. But the, this mask does seem incredible, actually. I can see why so many people like it. Amazing field of view, probably equal to or better than some panoramic masks with these kind of big bug eye um, bits. From the side, it really reminds me of an S6 from that angle, for some reason. But... Yeah, so very good field of view, very little distortion. Again, you get a bit of distortion where the shape changes there, but not enough to kind of annoy you. A bit of ghosting as always between the lenses, but not anything major. Yeah, overall very comfortable. And when this did pass all the tests, when it was, you know, they eventually fixed all the glue problems with it and everything, apparently, you know, it surpassed most of the tests it had to pass. It wasn't just tick the box to say it did it, it was apparently, you know, one of those really, really well done masks. So, there you go, it's the love child of an S10 really and an M40. That might not be being too kind on it, but I love it for what it is. So, let me show you the other weird bits that came with it, he sent me, and we'll figure out what they are. Or maybe some of you can, because none of us had a clue. So this might be a helmet strap extender, the idea being if you're wearing a helmet with the mask on, this clips onto either side of the helmet strap system to extend it a bit so you can wear it with the mask. That might be straightforward, that might be what that is. Now this though, this was the bit we had no clue about. It looks like a slightly sheared piece of plastic um, that says LR maybe, so that's maybe left right. But 
I think he said this just came with a mask and he wasn't sure what it was for. So, there you go. Anybody got a clue? It could just be a random broken bit of plastic, I guess, but yeah. But yeah, the main thing is I finally got my hands on a um, Canadian C4. And I can tell you from just very briefly putting it on, it is excellent, you know. For the people saying, is it as good as an S10 or whatever, or an M48, it probably is better in all honesty. I think the major advantage this seems to have is like lots of voice diaphragm coverage and, you know, very good visibility. It gives it that weird bug eye alien look, but I think that's quite cool looking. So yeah. Uh, Canada's fourth generation of sort of service mask. Yeah, very, very cool. I like the C4 a lot. So a big thank you to the supporter whose name, when it's in like the Russian type form, I could never pronounce. But I know he's Corona Carl on Steam, so thank you very much to you. I really appreciate it. Um, because, yeah, what an amazing looking mask. Um, and, yeah, comfortable one. So the Canadians really knew what they were doing. Uh, I assume you might be able to somehow adjust these top straps, but it seems mostly like, you know, it's obviously just designed on the bottom strap thing. But I suppose it's also because the mask's quite a flexible, beautiful look. Oop. But yeah, so there we go. Comes with the C2 canister as well. Obviously C2 canisters, they're the ones a lot of people don't like because of the chromium issue. I don't know if Canada later on started using C2A1 filters. But I think C2 filters were developed jointly, weren't they, between Canada and the US. Because they do bear a big resemblance to the older 60mm Canadian filters, where at this point the US was using cheek filter masks. So, some, somebody I'm sure will correct me on that if I'm wrong. But I have a weird feeling the C2 filter was like a joint um, cooperative effort between Canada and the US. Which is something you want to see more of, isn't it, really? Different countries who are allies actually working to, together to develop technology rather than, no, we've got better technology than you. We have the best technology, the best. Right, anyway, I'll stop doing a Trump impression now. But yeah, overall seems very good. Whether or not you can take this voice diaphragm out and use it with a filter, I don't know. Because let's just, if we have a look at that bit there, look, you'll notice they do look very similar. But I've not got the tool on me at the moment, obviously, to take those off. I think if you just probably got some pliers and opened it. Oh, here we go. My fingernail was good enough. Like, let's see what happens. Is this actually a dual filter assembly or is it just a voice diaphragm there? Right, can I poke that out? I'm just seeing if I can reach around the inside of the mask and poke that out. It looks like there might be a bit I have to undo inside as well. But It does look a very similar valve system inside. So I don't know if you'd be able to simply swap the filters around yourself at the user end or if it would be a case of, you know, just with a kind of tool you could set them up for left or right handed shooters, but that is a pretty uh, cool thing. So, yeah, I was just seeing if there was an easy way of getting that out from the inside. Doesn't look like there is, but the point standing, you know, that it is quite a cool thing. That um, Again, it looks like a fairly easy way of, um, you know, making the filter go from one side to the other, rather than it being simply a case of, you have to order one from the factory that's set up on one side, otherwise there's no way of doing it yourself, a bit like the S10, which is a bit of a shame, as much as I like the S10, yeah. So yeah, Canadian C4 will stop rambling, seems very, very good, I can understand why so many people like them, and yeah, it's a cool fucking mask, isn't it? Let's not be, uh, let's not beat around the bush.